Hey first graders, it's been a while since I've made a video for you guys. I just wanted to say I'm so excited to be your first grade teacher this year and I'll see all of you tomorrow whether it's in class or virtually. I will be wearing my mask. It might not be this mask but it'll be a mask and I'll be smiling underneath it so you might see a little squinty eye and maybe that's how you'll know I'm smiling. But to get ready for the first day of school, I'm going to read you a story. The night before first grade. Boys and girls, this is my first time reading this story, so let's see how it goes. Twas the night before first grade. I kissed my dog Clover. School starting tomorrow because summer's over. Into my backpack went markers and pens. I hung my new outfit. It matched my friend Jen's. I spoke not a word, but went straight to the shelf and filled up my lunchbox. I made it myself. How many of you are going to make your own lunch? I can't wait to see Jenny, I told my big brother. I hope that's our desks right next to each other. Boys and girls, our desks are not going to be right next to each other. They're going to be six feet apart. But don't you worry, you'll still be able to see your friends and give them an air high five, a smile. That night, I was nestled all snug in my bed while visions of a jungle gym danced in my head. The next day at breakfast, Dad made such a fuss. What a big girl you are to be taking the bus. Hurry up, Penny, said Mom as it turned down our street. Over here, shouted Jenny. I saved you a seat. At school, kindergartners stood outside in the hall. They all looked so young. Were we ever that small? While they clung to their parents, we hugged Miss Sunrise. You two grew so tall, she said with surprise. Ding, 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 rang the school bell. We made such a clatter as we raced to our classroom. Then Jen said, what's the matter? The principal told us of some changes were made and we have some new students, so we split the first grade. Hey, Penny, said my teacher, you're in here with me. But, eeps, Jenny isn't. She was in room 33. Aww. We waved goodbye sadly and said, see you later. I had to be brave because I'm a first grader. Soon we sat in a circle and we each said our name. Then we played 20 questions and I won the game. Mr. Barr was so funny, he tells jokes and he juggles. Our class pets, so cute, it's Bunny named Snuggles. I knew most of the kids except just a few, so I went and said hi to the girl that was new. We sat side by side and made pictures with noodles. We laughed when we saw we both made poodle noodles. Noodle poodles. We both have pet turtles and love turquoise blue and pistachio ice cream is her favorite too. I can't wait to meet my best friend at lunch. I just know that you'll like each other a bunch. The lunchroom was buzzing so busy and loud. We sat down at a table. Was Jen in this crowd? Then what to my under wondering eyes should appear? There in line was Jen with her new friend who looked just like mine. My eyes, were they twinkled? Being matching frames? They had curly pigtails and they had rhyming names. I'm Tina, I'm Nina. 
Aw, that's actually kind of cute. Our new best friends were twins, and those schools just begun. I know first grade will be twice as much fun. Boys and girls, I cannot wait to have our first day of school tomorrow. Your classroom is going to be in the library. I think most of you know where that is. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night's sleep. And uh, yay!